the Ridgebacks were, um, the breed was refined in Zimbabwe, in Rhodesia. They were called Rhodesian Ridgebacks. And they were interbred with, um, I think, a Burbul and a, do you know Claire? Burbul and a, a Great Dane. And the African hunting dog. And they all have the white shields on their chest and the white paws. And you get the big 60 kilogram Ridgeback, which was this one. He's now 41 kilos. So if you've got 10 dogs in a pack, you can bring down a 600 kilogram lion. But their job mainly was walk, to walk with rangers or hunters to warn them of the presence of lion. And they've got lion hearts. So I owned a Ridgeback, two Ridgebacks in fact, called Hamka and Atlanta. I gave them hunting names and for most of their journey with me, they were my protection, my companion. But as my dogs got older, I was faced with the choice of having to put them down, to euthanize them. And with the first dog, it was a much easier choice because she had really bad cancer and she was bleeding and almost seemed to beg for me to put it down. And it was an easy, comfortable euthanasia um, where she went quickly at great peace. And with the second dog, I had such a close relationship with the dog that some selfishness comes to play where you want to extend the dog's life for your own best companionship. And yet in looking at the dog since January, there were signs that he was going downhill. He'd lost a lot of weight. He comes from the big hunting breed that were bred for lion companions for game rangers in the Kruger Park. I was very privileged to get him. I got him from a breeder called Smit in Hoepstadt who bred only Africana breeds. And um, from 60 kilograms, he dropped to about 43 kilograms, which is a significant weight loss. I wasn't too worried because as a dog gets older, his hips of a big dog get weaker. And so the lighter weight actually helped him going 
for much helped him keep going for much longer than maybe he should have. But one looks with a, a beloved pet, one looks at change of quality of life. So one of his greatest joys in life was his daily walk around Emerentia Dam and a swim and gambling and rolling on the lawn. And at those occasions when I came to the park and he remained in the car and refused to get out, I knew that he was in pain. You adjust for that. I had a piano stool so he wouldn't have to jump up so high. But even then, he would prefer not to walk. Other signs are a dog um, messing in the house. He was an inside dog. I have never known a breed of dogs to be so impeccably clean and house trained right from word go. And so that change of quality of life with loss of dignity is a sure sign that the time has come for the end. When a dog loses movement, joy, activity and dignity in his daily um, life at home, it's time to seriously consider putting him down. In the video you will see on the last day a heartbreaking strong energy and even an instinct to be a lion dog and be excited in the presence of a cat. The morning that I put him down, we went for a walk and it was with great enjoyment of sniffing the air, sensing what's around in the neighborhood. But it was time, I'd made the decision. There were days when he could not get up and spent just lying in his basket in the sun. So if there's any controversy around the dog looking remarkably healthy. It was a decision that took three months to be finalized in my own heart.